guys, it's Becky and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me, like just to go nowhere because it's currently like raining, I don't know, so bad in Ireland for some reason. And yeah, I'll just do my makeup and chat and tease. Yeah, so if you want to see me do my makeup, keep on watching. Right, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and one eye off camera. Like I usually do because usually like I know what colour I'm going for but that's not what look. So now I'm using the Rummel London Match Perfection Concealer. Oops, I'm putting it on the back. That's way too much. I'm putting it on the back of these lashes because I've got tan on it. And I'm just going to carry about my eyebrow. I got this concealer last week because I needed like a new concealer, like a lighter one. And it's why thick it's a wild thick consistency and I don't know if I like it but it's good for carbonate eyebrows so I just did draw a line at the bottom of my eyebrow and bring it out the concealer's gone a wee bit pink because of the brush Sorry if you can hear the rain in the background, it's like bucket and rain for the past like two hours. And all I think last night was it the night before it was one of the nights and I and then I just take like the tiniest bit and go over the top of my brow. I'm trying to do like get into like fluffy bars but I don't think I suit them like I tried them but I just I don't think they're for me so I just connect them to bits in the middle there we go now I'm taking these this wee no not that one now I'm taking this wee Jessup brush it's the 223 and I'm going into In Lust from the Carnival Expo palette and I'm just gonna dab that there the outer corner and bring it in like the crease. I decided to do this side first this time because every time I do makeup I do this side first so then I'm sitting like this here trying to do that there. So decided to change it up this time so we're just bringing that the whole way over doesn't matter about it being messy because we can just blend it after then I'm going to take another dress up brushes this is the 230 brush and I'm going to fill it. All these shades are from the Stacey Marie palette. The Carnival Eggs Pro. And I'm just taking light hands and buffing around the edges just so they're not so sharp. It doesn't mind if you lose some of the pigment because we can just darken it up again. So we're just going over them edges. So now I'm just I'm going on with this like unicorn brush. I don't even know where I got it. I got it for like Christmas a couple of years ago. And just like blending it all together. Now I'm taking this brush which is a two three four. I was gonna use a different brush, but I seem to have lost it. And I'd actually used it on this side where but I'm taking Reckless from the Carnival palette just to 
deepen the outer third of my eye. And then I'm bringing like a most miraculous, like just like a wee bit on the brush to get it and then tap it off and just dragging it through the crease. Just so there's a darker line. Just so it doesn't look pure light in the inside. Then I'm going to do the brush that I took in Lost On. Just getting that and like light motions going around reckless, like buffing out the edges again. Just so everything kind of blends together and it's not. Doesn't look rare. And then I'm going to. With this big brush, I'm just dipping into fillish and going over to the top bit. So now I'm taking this LMD02 brush and I'm just, just um, cutting my crease. So, so now I'm just going to take reckless again and just dab over the edges of where I cut my crease. I just cut it to there, by the way, just like near the end of my eye. And then take endless again and just go over it. I'm probably going to be darkening up with black once I have eyeliner on it. Just a wee bit, like smudge out the eyeliner, but for now, this is a-okay. Now I'm just taking a wee brush that I got off eBay and going into Archard, it's the purple shimmer shade, and just putting it all over my eye. I don't really use like shades, I don't really use like shades like this, like, but I see people on like TikTok and like everything using them and I'm like, oh, why did I not use that shade? Now that I've started to, I really love them. So I'm just going over the edges and like dragging reckless like over like where the wee top it is. And then just Dabbing over with any bits that lost or pregnant when I was pregnant when I was doing that. So I'm gonna do like eyelashes and, and roll last because I want to put like eyeliner and do the wee thing. Do like the smudge. So I'm gonna put my LA Yard Pro Primer on. Just a wee bit and I just like to put it on my nose because I found the brush that I lost. Right, so I'm taking um, my Milani 2 in 1 and 06 sand beige, and I think this is going to be a wee bit too light, but I'm just putting it all over my face. I just tied my hair back because I realised that I'm not going to be able to do my foundation without my hair tied back. So I just put uh, even like over my face at the start and then anywhere I need more, I'll go a little more. I tend to see when I use this foundation with tan on my face, it like tinges the foundation like a wee bit grey. Like... 
it turns a wee bit green, I don't know why. Just burned it over night to make sure it burns just the, the one level of brown, like the one tone. I got a new tan and I tried it out and it's okay, it works well. Tan just doesn't stick to my hands, I don't know why. So I'm just then over my forehead and then anywhere I need more I'll go in, I'll go in after. Before I go in with more I take my foundation brush I think it is, I'm not too sure the name's rubbed after it from Real Techniques and just put a wee bit on the brush and put it in the middle of my forehead just to go around my eyebrows and down the middle of my eyebrows because that foundation brush if I try to go around my eyebrows with that would definitely take all of them off and I cannot do my eyebrows after foundation or my eyes I don't know how people can do that So I just pat over my face wherever I need to pat it. And clean up some of the eyeshadow that was there, but most of it will get cleaned up by the concealer anyway. So now I just take a dry beauty blender because I don't want to get to wet it and just press all over my face just so everything's even and all that excess product that is on my face is not off my foundation looks very green always does this when I tan them but I always tan my face because like, I think it looks weird like when then when I take my makeup off and there's like my face is for white so then I'm taking my concealer which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 just put that under my eyes Under my eyes, on my chin, my nose, and my forehead. It looks very light today. It's because of my tan. Oh. I'm just going to blend this in with this dry beauty blender because I still don't want to get up. So now that we're done, I take my Cody. Oh! my Cody Airspun that nearly just came out on top of me and I don't think I'm going to bake to it. My face feels pretty dry already so like I don't want to overly dry it so I'm just taking a wee bit out of the lid I'm just dabbing it all over my face look how much powder comes out of it like it leaves kind of like a white cast on your face so that's why I like sometimes it won't I don't bake either with this one because it leaves like a white cast and probably give you flashback but it doesn't seem to give you flashback if you just wipe it on so now I'm taking my rocks palette and I'm just gonna use the two diagonal shades as usual tap it off and then Contour my cheeks. I use just contour too, just to warm my cheeks back up. I use bronzers as well, but this is just just to bring some color back in.
Do you guys think it looks so much better when you have corn cob? I don't contour my forehead rarely. I just put bronzer. But first, I'm going to take this like wee brush. It's an LMD brush too, but the numbers came off it. And just into the first shade of the Rolex palette. Just to go over my nose a wee bit. Like not much. I just do a wee bit. Doesn't make much of a difference. Then I go in with my bronzer, which is this. Um, it's in the shade Terra Bronzing Powder. Um, I don't think it has. I don't know what it is. I've definitely found it before, but I don't know. So I just take that, tap it off, bronze up my cheeks. And then, then I do my forehead. Just see right some life back into my face because I'm looking pretty dead. As you know by one of the last videos, oh, as you know by one of the last videos that I uploaded when I was doing makeup, I'm kind of new to blush, like I don't really wear it, but I've started to wear it like all the time. So I always end up putting like far, like far, far, far too much on. And I always end up looking stupid, so I'm going to try and not put too much on. So I'm just taking the blush out of, oh my god, there's powder all over me. I did not see that, that we have powder on our shirt. That's great. I'm just taking um, a blush out of like, it's like a wee child's palette. Just because I don't really wear blush, so I've not bought like any high-end or drugstore blushes. Well, I don't think I went overboard this time, which is a shocker. Right, so I'm moving on the highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills and then do Summer and Moonstone. And then tap off the, uh, tap off the excess because this highlighter is unreal. I thought I lost this highlighter for so long. Like, I literally thought I misplaced it somewhere. I was doing my makeup in someone else's house and left it. But... It just fell down the back of my drawers and I found it the last day and it is honestly one of the nicest highlighters ever. So I just do the top of my nose. Cupid's bow. Oh, it's just so nice. Right, so for my lips I'm using this um for my lips I'm using this lip liner, it's in the shade Snow Blue Spice. And I'm just overlaying my lips a wee bit. I'll bring it down to the corner. Then I fill in like the corners just until like there's a wee white bit in the middle. Then I'm going to take this Mark lipstick. You probably know this combo off by heart because it's like the only lipstick I wear. I'm just blending two together like I only put this like in the middle and kind of drag it out. Looks like that. Right. So now I'm going to put eyeliner on and then finish up this makeup look. So this eyeliner is from Primark and I thought it was going to be like a you know, like normally applicator but it's not like it's pure hair. Right. So now that the liner's on I'm going to take that brush that I, I thought I lost. Um, and take the black out of this pot that I've been holding the whole time. It's the Soap and Revolutions first pot. 
and I'm just gonna smudge the black eyeliner. Again, just gonna smudge it like out of it. Just so, kind of darkens the outside of the eye. This is my favorite thing now to do with eyeliner now since I learned to do it. It's just so nice and I think it like adds so much definition to the corner of your eye. So I'm just doing it to the eye too, just smudging across the eyeliner and bringing it up. And then I'm just going on with that wee brush that I took Archer on and taking a wee bit more of Archer and just like landing that smudge black and the Archer kind of like they kind of blend them together so they don't it doesn't look like it just stops. Right so right so before I put the mascara on I'm just going to go and get these lashes out and get the glue on them. So these are the lashes I'm using they're very I thought they would be more fluffy, but they're just, they're just natural and I kind of like them. I'm not too sure about them, but I don't have any other lashes, so I'm going to have to like them. Get some mascara. I'm just putting on my top lashes. I'm not putting on my bottom yet, just because I want to do some under, like the lower lash. I should have not here and not speak for a sec. So I'm going to take my eyelash curler. I'm going to just curl my lashes. I'm going to keep them there for like, not that long. And then once I let them go, I'm going to use these this time because I can't. I can't fix it with my fingers now that I have nails, so I'm not very good at putting on my lashes. It's my only struggle. Like I literally hate it so much, so I'll be back with my lashes are on. Right, so I got my eyelashes on after a struggle of trying to get them on. So I'm gonna do the brush that I took and lost on at the start and just go on on my lower lash line. Just taking it down. Right, so now I'm just taking reckless and putting it underneath my like just the outer bit. Oh, I forgot to put on this under the side. And I'm just gonna get the mascara. Um, this is the Primark mascara again, and just put it. Eyelashes. So this is the finished look. So this is the finished look. I'm actually happy how it turned out as the foundation was so green at the start, but it came together well. So if you liked watching me do my makeup, um I'll be doing other things in the future. Please like and subscribe, it's much appreciated. And thanks for watching. Bye.